Hello, my name is Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome to KMA's Jams. Number 11. Yes, we've made it to 11. And I got the mustache in my mouth. Yes, um, I've been kind of taking a break lately because of Christmas and Christmas is all done. So guess what? We're going to be getting jammed twice a week. Jam stands for, if you do not know, just another Minecraft series. So I've got my water. My frozen water. And how, how, how do I have my ice on the bottom of this water, by the way? That's for me to know and you to find out. But yes, I have my water. Hope you have your water or whatever you like to drink. And we are reinvigorating the series because Christmas is over. I'm going to have free time. Woohoo! Yes, free time. I haven't had much of that lately, so I haven't had many things to do Minecraft related but I have done a couple of things and I wanted to show you a couple of things and I have to start getting resources because there is a guardian temple and I haven't made a farm yet on this jams <laughs> uh, series so we're gonna make a guardian farm temple at some point in the near future but I need some some sand just a little bit of sand and um, Later on in the episode, we're going to go get some sand and talk about something that is relevant to my life right now and something I hope that happens, but you're going to have to wait till the second part of this video to understand what I'm talking about. Ha <laughs> ha, the suspense. So let's go. Let's go and uh, I'll show you. Uh... Hey. Where? Yeah. That's not nice. If you don't grab it fast enough, you lose your ride. I lost my ride. Bye bye. You can stay down there till when I come back. Sorry. Yes. That's one thing I didn't put on here. There should be an extra long delay for the cart to go, but, you know, I'm impatient and I'm not on here with other people so if I was on a server there would be a delay there of more than a half a second or 20 ticks but anyways let me show you something I did something small um, I did I had a you know half hour 45 minutes of free time about a week ago and I made this woolly melon cart thing Basically, um, I did it before, uh, there's a video on what this incorporates in my past. Uh, just look up Melon Farm, I guess, KMA's Corner Melon Farm, and you'll see something along the lines of this. Uh, except for I didn't use blue glass in the past, so that's a major difference. Blue glass is so much better. So, um, basically, there's an Etho Hopper Timer down there with five stacks of something... Probably nether, rack, rock, whatever that something might be. And once it re reaches the end of its timer, it sets uh, a set of sticky pistons that where the melons grow. As you can see, this is where the melons grow on both of these. And it shoots up and destroys the melons. Then it sends a hopper minecart across underneath that area and sucks them all up. And then... V basically brings it back unloads right here and unloads it into a chest and it brings the chest and so it's been here for a little bit hence the amount of melons in there um, it's pretty simple oh, you see bye bye melon you can hear the cart going back now I don't know why this one hasn't worked Probably because I set it to five stacks, and that takes a little while, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, it's obviously picking up melons, or else it'd be a whole bunch of pumpkins here. Filling up. Oh, there it goes. So it just picks up and goes back. It's really not that difficult a thing to do. It's like I said, the etho timer. A little clock for the dispenser elevator, which I've made... Even right there, and this thing, um, and what else is involved? Oh, just the the sticky pistons. It's really not 
that difficult. And again, we can thank our friend Wooly for this one as well. Wooly has made some really great stuff for some really good YouTubers. Um, and I'm surprised he's not more known. He's pretty known, but he's not more known as he should be. Then this other thing over here, which is going to be the tree farm, when I decide to make a structure around it, I'm having a real hard time coming up with the pillars. I think I got the I, I think I got the design here, but um, I don't know. There, I got to figure out what I'm gonna do in these in between places where the pillars are. Probably gonna be glass. I don't know. Um, ultimately, if I were to redo this, I would not have put it so close to R2 D2 here. Um because the centering is off from this building and it really should have gone way over there because I f forget how high 40 something blocks is and it turned out to be a much bigger building than I was expecting and it kind of encroaches on this but this is spawn and spawn in my worlds tend to be a work area not a relax and stick the feet up and live in a house type area that's why you don't have me living in a house here because this is work area and work area I guess can be kind of ugly I mean it's not like I'm gonna throw bricks up and say hey yeah this is my building it's just it's not a really a town this is where stuff gets done so the tree farm basically I've showed this real quick uh, it's based on something Slind had done. He's a streamer. You step there. This comes up. You plant your trees here. You bone mail them. You cut them down. Then you get back here. And you go plink. Oh. And it goes down. And the water comes back. And all the leaves and all the extra woods and saplings fall into the water. Go into the hoppers down there. And eventually ends up in this chest. So I made that a couple of weeks ago and I think I've actually shown that on camera and I gotta do it over here and I gotta add some pistons and water streams over here because these will be for the one wide trees instead of the double wide trees like over here over here so um I needed a storage space for all the wood that I'm gonna be cutting down because you know um uh, okay I, I glanced at that I thought one of my pieces of wood was on fire Kind of scared about the wood being so close to the fire there. Back on subject though, um, I was, you get cut down a couple of double wide trees, so you got five stacks of logs, and it's not something I'm going to be carrying around with me all the time. So I made these little storage facades. Now as you can tell, each one's for a different type of wood. So, um, you know, if I got spruce, you just go in here and throw in the spruce stuff and so forth so when I get the tree farm going I kinda hope that at least the top part with all the logs are gonna be full that's my goal I haven't really been doing any tree farming yet in this world because I've been derping and you guys know <laughs> how well I can derp um, and believe me I can set this video on you know scheduled instead of private hmm yeah did not know if you had a private video and shared the link it still wouldn't show up for people sorry about that guys and if you have no idea what I'm talking about that's okay you don't need to it's just me being a derp but anyways this is the work I've been doing uh, a little bit later I mean a little bit lately I've obviously not I don't think I'm gonna keep the snow here and I'll probably replace that but um this building is on its way so I'm gonna go get some sand and talk about a little bit what's been going on this week see you in a bit I have found a guardian temple and I need some sand so I can clear it out so I'm gonna go sanding for a little while you know collecting some of this beautiful oh I just killed a dead bush yes they give out sticks in a 1.9 but right now nothing but, um, yeah, I need some sand to clean out of the Guardian Temple, so I figure I'd give you guys um, a little heads up on what's been going on and a little explanation of what I've been doing. So, uh, with a little ado, let's go collect some sand. 
because we need sand badly and as you can see I've already stolen a bit of sand and sandstone but I need a lot more so we are gonna go get some and I'm gonna tell you a little story about a man I know named Jeb who found some oil there is a server that is doing things right called Afterlife SMP and I know I've said in the past that nah, Keith no fine server right now because things aren't right because things are a little busy in my life and I don't have the best recording area to record um, basically whenever I want even though my family has said well if uh, you need to record during the day when we're here we will be quiet so they, they're all, you know, how shall I say it, supportive of me recording with them here and them staying quiet. So that really isn't a problem. I just didn't really want to put, you know, put them out. I was trying to be nice. But this SMP uh, Afterlife server is doing things right. The guy who I think owns it, runs it, all out J. He, everything he does, if you were to read the book on how to do Minecraft videos and run a server, he's doing it by the book, or at least by the book I would write, because what he does is exactly what I was looking for with the server. You know, lots of collaborations, lots of, I wouldn't say forced interactions with other people, but... Um, they're doing UHC right now, they're doing Abbot Caving right now, they have other things I imagine planned for the future as a group. And not too many servers do the group thing. And that really intrigues me. And even though I said, Keith, <laughs> I'm talking about myself in the third person again, that's not good. Um, that would be a very nice group of people to know and interact with um, and I found them through one of my favorite people um, small channels a guy named Whitefire and um, everything that they do is right I'm gonna get rid of some of the stuff and um, so it kinda got me thinking well you know what, these opportunities don't come around too often to be able to join a server that is doing things right and that opportunity is now. So if I don't jump on this boat and apply for the server, I'm a big dumbass and I don't want to be a big dumbass. So what I did is I made a video and I followed the rules for uh, applying to the server and I like the fact that there's some hoops to jump into so people you know who are half-assed and not really sure whether or not they are gonna want to be on the server or whatever it weeds those out so you kind of have to jump through a couple of hoops and make a video and tweet some stuff and make a comment here and whatever which I think is good for weeding out the not so serious um, applications applicants Plus, there's certain things in... Hi, sir. You want to help me mine some sand? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I guess somebody else helped me mine some sand. But anyways, um, jeez. Didn't know the guy was behind me. That's why I like this game. It's fun. Um, so yeah, you kind of have to jump through hoops to join the server. And I kind of like that because it gets rid of the, the crappy applicants. And believe me, there's a lot of people who just apply for servers and not really want to follow through with it. And um, for me, it's going to force myself to actually uh, collaborate with people if I join the server, which is something I've been wanting to do kind of been delaying and using my recording experience recording space living area as an excuse not to collaborate but this group of people that are on this afterlife server seems really cool um, 
I've been watching some videos, doing a little research behind the scenes, finding out all about this server, and I've decided, yes, I do want to be part of this team. So I was jumping through the hoops, and I, I spent, like, I wrote a, a script to say on the application server, almost a little too professional. <laughs> um, I made a collage of clips from my playing Minecraft from 2011 till, you know, a couple of weeks ago, and parts from this world, and I tweeted out, yes, I'm applying for your server, I, I made the comment on the video that he wanted us to make the comment on, so he can kind of get an idea that somebody is applying for the server, and I uploaded my video, and everything's rocking, and I, I get it going, and I send out the link to the video so they can all see it, and I go to work, because work is something I do most of the time. Um, to find out when I come home 12 hours later, because Monday's out, oh my god, you can tell my mouse needs to be replaced. I have a mouse in, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a mouse in my closet, but I uh, prefer this one, even though it double clicks when I right click, so I guess I'm going to have to get the other one out because it's becoming a little unbearable. So I jumped through all the hoops, I did all those things for the application, and I set up the video, upload it, send out the links to the video so that um, server admins can figure out if they want me or not. And I go to work for a good 12 hours and realize the video was set on private. Really? <laughs> well, hey, here's this great guy who is applying for our thing, but guess what? He doesn't even know how to set up his video properly. Screw him. Come on, he can't even do a video right. He doesn't know the difference between private and unlisted, and which I didn't know the difference between private and unlisted. I will admit that because I've never set a video to private. Well, I have set them to private because I have um, a couple of hundred vlogs on my channel that I have privated right now because they're immature and stupid and I've grown up from that time and that's not really me. Um, so I derped big time really big time and I feel like an idiot for doing that and I hope it doesn't hurt my chances but you know in the grand scheme of things if I was all out Jay and then I was looking for somebody professional for his for my server I would be like you know this guy can't even upload a video properly to YouTube how can I rely on him and then you know, top it all off I was at work um, and it took 10 hours, I guess, or so from the time the video was uploaded for me to fix the situation. And I only need a couple more stacks and I'm out of here. Um, ouch. And that wasn't cool because my reaction time was like really slow. And I, I just, uh, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of goofed it up, but we'll see. They haven't said no. Um, they haven't said yes, um, and either way, whatever happens, I mean, it, it's going to suck if they say no, but everything happens for a reason, and there's a reason why my video <laughs> is set on private for some reason, ah, probably because I said it on private, but um, yeah, I, I'm, I hope it's a yes, even though I kind of screwed up the application pro process, um, but I've been working a gazillion hours, 60, 70 hours through the Christmas time last I've had just Christmas Day off. Actually, no, I can't even say that. I worked two hours on Christmas Day, so I didn't even have Christmas Day off. And so um, the fact that working a couple of hours in a day feels like a day off to me should say something. But I've been working a lot of hours. I'm kind of tired right now, and I haven't been able to get back into the groove of thing. Is there another one behind me now that's going to blow me up and throw me over you? I don't think so. So, um... I do, I do, my my brain does work, that's just that it's tired right now, and I'm kind of in the fog, but that's just excuses so people don't think I'm really that much of a derp, and I kind of am a derp. So, um, if you don't know Afterlife SMP, you should go look it up, because there is a lot of really good people there, 
Uh, they're doing the server properly, correctly, and the way it's supposed to be done, which to me is, uh, why do I have sandstone? I don't want sandstone. Which is kind of how you would think a place that is running it like Minecraft, you know? Everybody likes Minecraft, or when it was in its heyday before they decided to stop playing um, Minecraft. Let's get rid of those. I want a full inventory. All right, guys, I am done with the episode. I got my sand that I needed, and I showed you the stuff that I wanted to do over here, or I did do over there. But I just wanted to show you real quick um, something else I'm going to add to this. I have decided to make this the all-in-one villager um, companion guide building. And I'm going to make those auto farms up here with the villagers and the iron golem farm. And I'm going to put them all around here. Everything that I need to trade with villagers at this building. So everything that I need will end up with chest right around here. And first off, I gotta make the villager breeder, and I'm gonna drop the villagers right here. So this is where I'm gonna have just this one block. I'm probably gonna have 100, 140 villagers eventually, probably sometime next week, because I'm gonna make the villager breeder up in the sky above me so I can get enough villagers. Then I'm gonna tear down the village breeder and make the iron gum farm over here somewhere and somehow get the iron to another chest in this building uh, without me having to do it myself and then I'm gonna do the different farms um, that I think you nary bit made um, and I'm gonna have a chest for the carrots the wheat and the potatoes so I can have like a farmer villager here and trade with him get the stuff I need and have all the librarians over in another room on this platform and just trade with them but that's all stuff that's gonna happen in the next couple of weeks maybe up to a month but I just wanted to let you know that my series is back. It's going to be um, two episodes a week again now that Christmas is over with. And so things are back on schedule. I got off schedule for probably almost a month because of the amount of work we had. Um, people like to order online a lot more than they like to go to the store and get Christmas gifts. And I deliver those online purchases. Yes! So, um, haven't had much time. So... I guess I imagine I'm going to have to take some sort of break next Christmas too, but other than that, I'm looking pretty good. So this series should be going all year round, at least two episodes a week. And hopefully if um, Afterlife accepts me, I will do two episodes a week over there too. So that would be four Minecraft videos a week between the two series. And I think I can handle that for 95% of the year. So that is our goal. And I guess... I'm gonna oh look at the back of my head I guess I'm gonna have to say goodbye oh go on oh I couldn't find my other mouse <laughs> I I hide my videos just as well as, as I hide my mouses my right button is sticky and I need that other mouse and I don't know where I put it but I'll find it and I'll be able to eat again normally but this is it for Keith from KMA's corner k Jams, hope you like it. Hit the like button, subscribe, say what's up, tell me what's wrong with this video, tell me what's right with this video, huh? There's an idea. Wow. Anyways, have a great day, happy new years, peace, love ya.